Hi everybody, this is Umair from Top File Solutions. I'm back with this third part of developing Snake Game in Java. Uh, this is the third part and what we have done up till now is we have designed the user interface for our game. You can see that we have added an image at the top uh, and under that we have a panel blackish area where we will uh, move our snake. So let's start moving our snake. So what we need now, we need some variables uh, at the top. So for the positions of snake inside the panel, uh, we need to define two arrays for X position and Y position. Uh, so I will add two arrays, private int snake X length int 750, all right. Now we'll copy this line and paste it for the Y position. Other than this, I need four variables for uh, detecting on which side our snake is moving. So for that, I will take four Boolean variables, left equals to false. I will copy this line as well and paste it three times. I'll change the name from left to right, up and down. All right, now I need four variables for the snake face. So let's leave it as it is. I will copy this line as well and paste it three times right mouse, up mouse, down mouse and at the end I need to define it for the left mouse. Alright and now for the movement of snake uh, we need to uh, add a class, a timer class that will uh, manage the speed of the snake inside our panel. So for that uh, it is a built-in class timer. So I will define this and for the speed of timer I will uh, define a variable called delay and I will set it to 100. Alright and we need to define one more variable for the, uh, for the snake body. Uh, you can see that I have added an image, uh, you can see the snake image. Uh, this is the circle that will make up the whole snake. So I will add a variable for that as well. So private image icon snake image. All right. So we are done with the variables. And now what we need to do, we need to implement the arrow keys of our keyboard with the help of those who will move our snake on the panel. So for that we have an interface, a key listener. So we need to implement that. So implement key listener and we need to implement another interface action listener. Uh, you can see that I have implemented two interfaces and interfaces contain abstract method that we need to implement inside a class which implements these interfaces. Right now we have a gameplay class that is implementing these two uh, interfaces. Uh, so I, you can see that I haven't implemented yet. That's why it's showing an error. So if I hover my cursor on it, it says that add unimplemented methods. So I'll click on it. You can see that it has added different methods that are required. This is the method that comes from that action listener and these three methods have come from key listener. Alright, uh, so now we need to uh, add the default position of the snake on on our panel. Uh, so for that, uh, first what we'll do is we will 
add some code inside our constructor uh, before uh, writing anything in our methods so for that I will add the key listener add key listener and now here we will uh, we need to write the object for the class that is implementing this key listener uh, in our case uh, we have this gameplay class so we'll just write this all right and after that we will set some formalities set focusable equals to true set focus transform is enabled equals to false all right and now we will in the inside the constructor we will instantiate our timer class timer equals to new timer and here we will set the speed for the snake so we as you can see that we have defined the variable for the speed of snake at the top so first we will write the variable and then the context of this snake so we will write this after that we will start the timer okay so we have set the constructor for our game after that we will come down here and draw the snake okay uh, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define uh, the snake uh, at the default position at the top left corner of our blackish area of our panel uh, so uh, but and for the moment of snake we need to write some code inside this key pressed method and inside our action perform and we will do it later on so for now we'll just draw our snake without any movement so for now just, let's just go up and you can see that we have uh, defined some variables snake image so I will instantiate it so let's instantiate our variable image icon and inside it I will write the name of file right mouse okay dot png now I will draw it so right mouse paint icon and for the context I will write this for the variables of graphics we have G uh, and for the X axis uh, what I will do is I will use this array what this array will do is its first index will contain the head of the snake and the rest of other indices will contain the body of snake so for the base of the snake I will store the position of the head of snake inside the first index of this array so snake x length 0 and snake y length 0 let's make it a small y so snake x length 0 snake y length 0 as well alright now we need to define the default length of the snake the default length of snake is 3 that we need to define in a variable just now so let's just do it length of snake equals to 3 all right now I will start a loop a equals to 0 and a is length then length of snake all right okay I need to define the data type for this variable so you can see that the error should be removed for now I forgot the semicolon so inside it I will detect uh, the direction of the snake if the this variable is true then the direction of snake should be on the left side if this variable is true then the direction of face mouth should be on the right side alright 
so now here I will check if a equals to 0 and right all right what I'll do here I will copy and paste it here and change the indices of these arrays to a the variable of this loop and for the left and right I will left down and up okay for the left mouth uh, I need to use the variable for the left mouth of the snake so left mouth all right and for the down mouth I need to use the down mouth variable uh, to move the to uh, select the left mouth of the snake when this variable is true and other variables are false so down mouth right. this is the name of file that I have included in our project all right so for the up mouth up mouth the name of files and the variables are same okay and now at the end I need to see if a is not equals to 0 means that this is not the face because the a identifies the first index uh, of, the, of the snake so if a is not equals to 0 that means that the snake head has been drawn now we need to draw the body of snake so for the body of snake what we need to do we need to use this variable snake image for drawing the body of image so for that I will just copy and paste this code and snake image alright so the name of snake image is the snake image the same one okay so before looking at what we have now by running it uh, I just need to add one more thing is that if move equals to zero that we need to define right now about so what this variable will do now uh, if it will detect if the game has just started then set the uh, default position for the snake to this if the game has already started and we are in a play mode then don't check this one because we will increment this variable and it will not be equal to zero so any code that we will write inside this if condition will not be executed it will just be executed at the first time when we will start our game so inside it we need to define the default position for the snake all right so what we need to do now we need to define the three positions for this array inside the zero first and second index and three positions for this array inside zero first and the second index so let's just define the variable first moves equals to zero okay and now come inside it and snake x length equals to snake x length 2 equals to 50 and snake x length 1 equals to 75 snake x length 0 equals to 100 all right now do it for the y index array I'll change the name to y and let's make it all 100 so you can see that what we have done up till now will draw the snake and draw the body of snake for the three positions so let's see what we have now okay so you can see that we have drawn our snake at the default position that we have defined here 
so i will not move now because we haven't implement any key listeners for our the movement of the snake that is going to be a bit longer i thought that i will uh, implement the movement of snake in this part but uh, i think that this video is going a bit longer so i will do that in the next part so uh, for the movement of snake see my uh, next part and make sure you subscribe my channel if you like it please share it and like our facebook page top 5 solutions the link is given in the description below so see you in the next part